Yo guys, what is up? It is Teacher's Game 2 coming at you again with another video. I am over on Aberration right now, just checking out a few things, and I wanted to show you, well, first off, one of the easiest things that you can, really? Arthur Plura, please don't come after me. Whatever, fine. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to make a Nameless Venom Trap. Now, it really is awesome. It allows you to infinitely spawn the uh, Nameless, so you can just come back with like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, Nameless Venom. Really quite helpful, actually. Uh, lots of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way that I've always done it. It makes it easy. Um, there's nothing really difficult about it. I'm always wearing a hazard suit when I'm down in the blue zone, but this is a good way to do it, just in case you were curious. Now I'm going to go ahead and go down here. Obviously you cannot have a light. If you have a light on down here, the venom or the nameless will not show up. Now what you have to do first is you have to find some of these turds. I don't see any right now, so I'm just going to assume we'll be able to find some in a minute. Now what we do is you go ahead and find a good little flat area. You want to find a flat area for a reason. Hop off. Where are you going? Can you not? Can we not do this right now? What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you even running? Stop this. Where are you going? Stop. I don't know what he's doing. He's just like decided to go on an adventure. I don't know why. Are we good? Okay. We're not wandering. We're not doing anything. That's weird. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> so anyways, what you're going to do is you have to go ahead and place down some foundations. And really, it's a simple trick. You're just going to find an area that's kind of longer and flat, just like this back up a little bit and you're going to go ahead and take your foundations and in a 2 by 2 slash 3 by 3 you're going to build a 3 by 3 box to kind of trap them in and then really not going to work for me right there fine oh well as you can see you want to be careful of the death mushrooms that are right here I want to avoid those to the best of my ability and it really is easy all you're going to do is put down your own form of trap like you see right here now you could make ramps, you can do whatever you want, it's up to you, it really is. Um, I usually build some sort of like box-like system like you see right here, and then I'll toss down some ramps so that way the things can get up and in. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this guy up. And really it's easy. Now there is a strategy behind it though, so you're just trying to pull the nameless inside of this, and then you're trying to spawn them on the outside of this. However, that'll be much more visible in a moment here, when I can actually get any nameless to spawn. So that tends to be the hardest part of this trick. You have to find a good area to locate them. Nameless, oh nameless, where are you? Oh nameless. None, none. Maybe I'll just bring you guys back when I can actually locate a few nameless because I, oh, there's one right there. He just unburied himself. See him right there? So what we're gonna do now is you just wanna walk around, see how he's gone alpha mode? When they turn alpha mode, <clears throat> what you're going to do, it's actually really easy. You're going to trap this specific alpha inside of the trap. That's the goal here. You want to pull the alpha inside the trap. Now, nope, not what I wanted. Come on. In the trap. There we go. So he's inside the trap, and that's our goal. We want to be close enough where he keeps um, aggro to us, but we can still attack. See how there's nameless spawning? And I'll just sit here and just crush these nameless. And literally, it just infinitely spawns them and they just continue to sprint at you. So, all you have to do is sit here and bite. Not a joke. And see how he's just staying inside there? That's all you have to do. It's the easiest trap in the world. Now, the one thing you want to be very careful of is when he... Uh, he'll come back up. When there are more than 10 nearby, if more than 10 show up, that's a big problem because then the Reaper King will spawn in, so you want to be careful about that. So don't let that many show up. But if you just keep him inside this trap so he has aggro to you, you can let him hit you every now and then, <clears throat> he'll keep spawning the uh, Nameless in around him. You can see that that's happening. And you just sit here for as long as you want with as much Nameless Venom as you need. Obviously, this is a one times right now, so I've only got four. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and kind of do circles, whatever you want to keep yourself entertained. If you find a good spot like I had over here where you can kind of just chill and hang, this is usually a good location just to hang out. And sometimes it takes a little bit before he spawns them back in. But 
they do spawn in. And you just sit here and bite. And this is literally as easy as it is. And they will just keep churning out of the ground. And you will keep getting nameless venom. Now, obviously, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does when you get it because it's just random luck of the draw. But as long as you're sitting here, you'll get some. As you see right there, there's three. You just have to sit. And then what you can do is once it's over, you can go and kill the nameless inside of it. Or not. You don't have to. If you leave him there, he will stay there, which is kind of nice. Um, now, he'll only stay there for so long, so that's something you want to keep an eye on. But as you can see, I'm just sitting here with my Rock Drake. Obviously, this one's a really high Rock Drake, but you can do this with a very low Rock Drake, a Megalosaurus, anything you want to do. And you can just turn out a never-ending source of Nameless Venom. So you don't have to hunt him down. You don't have to do anything special. You're just trapping this Nameless, as you see right there, and getting a ton of Venom. Now, what I'll do is I'll sit down here for 20, 30 minutes and put a whole bunch, if I'm raising, I don't know, six, seven, eight Rock Drakes, because Nameless Venom's really not hard to get. Not dangerous or anything. You're just sitting there biting. That's all you have to do. So, anyways, hopefully this little video helps. And if you want to get rid of them, you just walk over here. And Nameless Venom are gone. Boom. And it's that easy. So, hopefully you enjoyed this little trick. And, um, oh my goodness. He has decided to spawn in now. You going to become the Alpha? Yes, he is. He is going to become the Alpha. <clears throat> I don't know where he's going, though. I guess he thinks he's cool or something. <clears throat> Anyways, now that I'm going to have to deal with this situation again, hopefully this little trick helps you out a little bit. And uh, Teacher's Game 2 out.